Hi there, I just wanted to go through the UCAN 2, kind of just start to finish, show you what the parts are. It's all in the manual, it's, it's well put together, so if you have any questions or something that you're just not sure of, read the manual, everything you need to know is in there. But I just thought I'd quickly go through it, kind of show you what each part does, and hopefully mediate some of the questions that we get. So, this is your suction hole, so this would go to your um, tote or container, whatever you're sucking out of in order to treat with. This side is your discharge side of the pump. This also contains your valve assembly, which will be used to set your pressures. And then this you'll cook back up to the container on the other side. And on this one, what you want to do is not put it on the drop tube. There'll be a, again, marked on the container where to put the discharger back into the container. This hose here, it goes to the auger. You'll see your nozzle is in here. Like we mentioned earlier, please make sure it's running parallel. You can insert it in here and do it that way. This is your throttle plate. Probably one of the simplest parts of the UCAN too, but arguably the most important. If your bushels per minute of your auger aren't calculated properly, then you won't be able to get it close with the treater. So take your time, do this properly, and that'll allow you to do a much better job and not apply too much or too little product based on the charts that are there. The charts are only as good as the bushels per minute. So what we've got here is our on off, exactly what you think it is, on off. So once you get everything dialed in to where you like, everything's treating, you're all hooked up, ready to go. Let's say you, you got the pump on, you're running good, and well, we all make mistakes. Um, the auger's running out of grain, or for some reason the truck's filling up and you just gotta get there. Um, you can hit the off and shut it off. So to go into the valve assembly a little bit more, this is your filter. So after a couple totes, especially if you're having trouble or just some doesn't seem right, this is just a simple filter. Um, no different than any small state sprayer. You can clean it up, take it out and clean it. Don't replace these filters with finer filters. They're picked that size for a reason. So um, they're there to get the bulk of it, but we're not trying to get every little fine particle. We don't want to filter active or anything silly like that. Right here is just another on and off. So again, we have it here, but if this is something that you wanna shut off, uh, I guess a, a purpose for this would be, you've got everything set as far as your pressure goes, but you wanna circulate the barrel before you get started treating, you can run the pump and turn this off and it won't be spraying in here. So with this open or in this position, this is where you set your pressure. So what I generally do is I put my hand, here I'll just turn, I put my hand on the valve assembly like this. So it allows me to very gently move like this without having a lot of trouble. And you'll wanna adjust your pressure to whatever the book tells you to. So you might be at say 23 PSI, you'll adjust this to 23 PSI, and it shouldn't pulse too much. If you're having issues with pulsing or it seems to be bouncing, um, Generally what that is, is it's sucking air somewhere. So it could be your parka valves aren't sealed properly, just pop them off and try resealing them. It could be something as simple as this hose clamp right here. So thank you and hopefully you enjoy your you can too.